All right, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Classic Coco, and I'm coming to you with Let's Be Real, the podcast. I'm coming to you with another episode. We about to get into it. We got another dope artist in a building by the name of Woody. And we about to get started. What's up? How you doing? What's going on? What's good? So let the people know who you are, what you do, where you come from. Yeah, I'm, I'm Woody. I come from Charlotte, East Charlotte. No, oh, goddamn. I've been doing this shit for a little minute. Yeah. All my life, really. Mm -hmm. Really, I was behind the scenes with it. I was a writer, ghost writer. So now I just, you know, coming out on my shell. Yeah. yeah. What kind of like, so what kind of made you start music? What inspired that? Um, the Temptations. The Temptations. Yeah, that was my favorite movie growing up. Uh huh. And I wanted to be just like them, but I couldn't sing. Uh huh. So I was like, well, maybe I can write the music. You know what I'm saying? And it just, just kept going with me. Right. All right. What's your favorite song by The Temptations? Oof. I think Tracking My Tears. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else I like? Nah, nah, I'll take that back. I don't know. I got so many. Mm -hmm. Really all of them. Yeah. Shoot. Well, I feel like, you know, so from listen, looking at The Temptations, do you feel like that's kind of been your main influence of music and how you kind of... Nah, not really. That's mm -hmm. just really started it off. Um, really, J. Cole is a big influence. Yeah. And that's really who I look up to as an artist. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So what was your first song that you wrote? Damn. Um, it don't even have a name. It was just a song I made. I think I was in, like, second grade. Uh-huh. Some little... Just a, it's a little bullshit. I still remember it too. So uh huh. But yeah, it didn't really have a name to it. It was just I was with my homeboys and we was in daycare. Mm -hmm. But after school, and I just started playing around. Yeah. Did you, you used to do the, like the little freestyles? Yeah, every day. Yeah. Especially in high school, like we used to meet up like every day. Yeah. Cafeteria A B C D every lunch. Yeah. You know and we there, active is getting real active. Man, I remember high school. What high school you went to? South Mac and E. Waddell. Oh, yeah, true, true. Before Waddell closed. Waddell was lit when people, what? Not Waddell was lit. It, it, I ain't it, never heard no Waddell being lit. Let me tell you. My last year going there was like 2010, 2011. It was, it was lit. It was but I feel like you start freestyling with your friends like your sophomore year because you start skipping school. Mm -hmm. So you like, okay, we about to, you know. We about to spark up. We about yeah, to get. We about to, we about to do a freestyle. And you like, oh snap! Like I'm this creative as person. But yeah. what high school you go to? Mallet Creek. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, see, I, I'm South Side. No, no. See, you I'm know. from the East. But my mama told me I had to switch it up, so she sent me to Mallet Creek. Yeah. But I'm pretty. I'm, I'm really glad she did that though. It was a real good move. Yeah. I met a lot of good people. Do you feel like, how has your childhood kind of inspired who you are as an artist and how your style of music um, is? I was the only child. It was just me and my mom. So mm -hmm. I always, you know, used to talk to myself, you know, entertain myself. Right. Yeah, so it really just started like that. Right. I'm the only child. Oh, yeah, so you know how it is. For real, when you when you by yourself and you got to entertain yourself. I'm talking about having, con <laughs> having concerts in the bathroom every morning. I swear to God, I feel like my mom was like, oh, this weird ass <laughs> like real like i had a weird daughter i swear to god but it was like it was like i don't know when you were only child you gotta be very creative very. for real mm -hmm. you gotta have an imagination and i feel like that's 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 what makes like the creativity come out of you as a child like for real, I don't agree having no brothers and sisters, but I felt yeah. like my like you your friends are your brothers and sisters yeah, like growing up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I saw your trailer mm -hmm. for your new single, Stronger. Yeah. What inspired that, and kind of what made that come about? Um, it was pretty much like me giving getting over a rough time in my life where mm -hmm. I was really starting to get like depressed. Mm -hmm. So it was just me trying to tell me like, you know, I'm better than what I'm appearing to be. You know, I can just I can beat it. You feel me? Just shake out of it. Yeah. So that was really just me and my feelings. You know, what I'm saying trying to get back to myself. So that's what that was. Yeah. Do you feel like when you write your music, do you kind of feel like you're more of a you talk about your feelings, or do you kind of mix it up and... I talk about what it was going on at the time. Right. Like, I try to, like, as soon as I'm feeling like that, I write it down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I want you to feel, like, how I felt when I wrote it. 
Right, right, right. So if you could describe your music. So, okay, two separate questions. If you could describe your music in three words, what would it be? And if you could describe yourself in three words, what would it be? Um, Original. Okay. Um, Weird. Mm -hmm. Real. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, do you, when people kind of hear who you hear your music and see who you are, what kind of legacy would you like to leave, leave behind? Or if people see you and like, oh yeah, this is you know, this is Woody. This is what she do. Like, what would kind of that vibe be like? Um, you know what I'm saying. Like, I'm just a real chill artist. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I try to influence. You know, not to do drugs, not to be in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's always a message in my songs. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I just want you to feel every message I get, you know, and learn from it and don't make the same mistake. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's probably been your biggest, your biggest, I say, what was I say? Not regret, but your biggest lesson so far going forward in music right now? Um, Doubting myself. Okay. Yeah, I was lacking the confidence, you know, too busy worried about what everybody else had to say, you mm-hmm. know, their opinion mattered to me. And I realized to make it, you know, in this music industry, you can't worry about everybody else. You know what I'm right. saying? You just got to be yourself. Either they're going to feel you now or feel you later. So right. that's just how I look at it. Right. So do, how do you feel about Charlotte and the music environment in Charlotte, like the local artist support? How do you feel about that? It's, it's dope. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of talent out here. Like, For real. A lot of talent. You know what I'm saying? I can't even. It's a lot of talent everywhere. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's it's kind of it's kind of hard. You know what I'm saying? Because I guess being a female rapper is kind of different. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Especially like some of the stuff that I talk about in my music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People just it's a it's a female. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. So, you know they don't really respect it like that. They wouldn't really see it. You know what I'm saying? But if right. you know me, you know you know what I'm saying. I don't I don't do no rap cap. Right. Everything is my life. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So. That's just, you know, you just really got to just network. Right. You can't knock another person hustle or just because they're not popping right now. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like everybody should just come together and just, we really could take off as a whole city. Oh, for real. For real. It's a lot of, it's a, and you know what? I've always said that in my podcast, like interviews, starting a podcast, it's a lot of talent in Charlotte. And it's like, you know, some people, may look down oh like this person not popping so i'm not even gonna yeah I'm not even whatever gonna or they from this side so i'm not even gonna you know get into it but you know it's kind of like yeah it's kind of like it's iffy yeah, yeah it's it really weird. is it really is it really really is so like i know you lost a good friend dolo denzi and you relate that a lot in your songs how has that tragic situation kind of influenced you and how you move in your music? Um, you know what I'm saying? He was probably, like, one of my biggest fans. Yeah. So it was just, like, um, he always told me, stop being pussy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I took that as, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing this for us. You know, you believe right. in me. It made me believe in myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I really just just got on my shit and just right. stopped being a pussy. Right, right, right. <laughs> for real. Yeah. That support, like, you know, you feel that spirit yeah. and that, you know, like. And it made me realize life is short, you know what I'm saying? Right. So if you have a talent, you have a goal, mm-hmm. you know, just do that shit, you know what I'm saying? Because you never know when it's your time. So I just want my music to, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm gone, it's going to still impact you when I'm gone. Right. So that's what I'm trying to do. Right. For real, for real, for real, for real. So if you could work with any artist right now, who would it be? J. Cole. J. Cole. Yeah. Okay, okay. Really anybody from Dreamville. Like, uh huh. That's just what it is. Like I just want to be with Dreamville. Right. So on that note, if you had a chance to get signed tonight, today, who would you pick? I'm going with Dreamville. Okay. Yeah. Why? What do you like about Dreamville? I just like how, you know what I'm saying? It's really like no how can I say this? Like really no label on like who you gotta be. I feel like Record labels, they try to make you something that you're not, right. just so it can fit what they're trying to have you do. And I, I'm not with that. I want to be myself. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And I feel like with Dreamville, everybody is themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like it's different mm-hmm. flows. You know, it's 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 real. It's it's, just, it's dope. Like right. everybody dope in their own way. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's music that's going to last forever. It's not nothing. That's just temporary. Right. You know what I'm saying? They, it, it's, yeah. It's, it's just, I just got to get with Dreamville. For real. Yeah. She with J. Cole. Right. If you see this one day. Yeah. Soon, I hope. Right. Ooh, Lord, manifest it. <laughs> you feel me? Listen. I need it. I need it. Worldwide. Oh, yeah. That's right. I feel like manifestation, you know, and believing in yourself and especially surrounding yourself around the right people. Yes. Like your team. Like oh, yeah. People who you support, you know, it's sometimes where God damn, I'm like, fuck it, I'm not about to do this, do this and yeah. no more. And it's like, dang, like. But yeah, that's what keeps me going. I yeah. Have, I have a great support system. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. Definitely, I would have been gave up already. Cause yeah. If I don't see the results, when I want to see the results, it's over. Like, yeah. I don't want to do it no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely have a great support system. Right. Shout, shout out your support system. Oh, yeah. Shout out to my baby. My baby. My baby. Yeah. <laughs> I got your baby. She in the corner. But most definitely, uh, my baby, all my people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I can't even name everybody, like, name for name. But, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? People that stay on my ass all yeah. the time. My nigga Jeff, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My nigga Asia, my nigga Black. Like, everybody there, you know what I'm saying, stay on my ass about this shit. You know, right. I really appreciate it. My brother, KJ, I love you, like. He really stay on me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tell me, like, you know what I'm saying? Stop worrying about everybody else. Do what you got to do. You know right. what I'm saying? You have a talent. Do what you do. Right, right, right. So I know I had saw you perform. Dez actually invited me that night yeah. at Cliche. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about performing? Because I know if I, what? <laughs> that would be. Yeah, it's, um, okay, so I ain't even going to lie to you. That's something I'm still trying to work on. You know, yeah. I'm affecting my craft most definitely with that because I'm shy. Yeah. I don't like talking in front of nobody. I like staying behind the scenes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But now um, I'm definitely coming out of my in my character, mm -hmm. finding my confidence. And really, you know what I'm saying? I, I love it now. You know what I'm saying? I love the attention. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. it's definitely dope. You know, sometimes I got to be a little tipsy to, to make it through. Right. But I'm going to make it through. Right. So ghost writing. So if you, you know, let's say you blow up as an artist. Mm-hmm. Would you want to stay as a performing artist, or would you kind of want to go behind the scenes and become like a ghostwriter and work in production? I'm okay, do both. yeah, most definitely, I'm gonna do both. Once I do like, I say I'm probably gonna do like a good six projects. That's yeah. gonna be like dope. And then after that, I think I just want to stay behind the scenes. For real, mm -hmm. shit, that, behind, that behind the scenes money. Yeah, that's yeah. You get you get paid a lot to be quiet. Listen, you know what I'm saying. So I'm gonna shut the fuck up and be straight. I don't want nobody <laughs> to know where my check is coming from. Yeah, so I love it like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. So mm -hmm. for real, for real, for real. So do you have any other hobbies that you do other than music? Like, would you want to get into a clothing line? Um, not really. Like, yeah, I'm I'm real simple. Mm -hmm. like, I ain't with all that. I like, I don't, I'm, I'm simple. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So clothing line, I feel like it wouldn't really be too popping like that because it will be some basic shit. But I do want to invest in like daycares. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to have a few daycares around because mm -hmm. I have, you know, a lot of single parent friends and shit. And, you know, I just feel like it would be a good investment. Everybody having babies. Right. <laughs> so. What? That would be some good money. Everybody need a babysitter. Yeah, I like me. helping people too. So probably mm -hmm. talking to the juvenile kids and, you know, teach them about substance abuse and all type of shit like that. Right. I'm into shit like that. And that's it. Like I said, I'm simple. Yeah. So yeah. It's not a lot that made me have, like, exotic weed, traveling. Probably, I want to invest in some dispensaries. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely going to do that. So, because, yeah. So, I'm going to travel to smoke good reefer and eat good. Right. That's it. Shoot. I would invest in a dispensary stock. Right. Little stocks right now. All that, you know what I'm saying? I'm and definitely I'm going to invest in my in my girl too. You know what I'm saying? Because she has her her goals and stuff. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I feel like we really we really can take golf. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Individually and together. You know what I'm saying? Like right. We have a solid a solid foundation. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely going to invest in that. Right. Yeah. Okay, Jiggin. U V say U V I P Dello Denny. You already know. Shout out to Jug. <laughs> Shout out to all my villains. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what's up, y'all? What's up? <laughs> what's going on? Long live Dolo, though. For real. I know for I say real. that in every song, and I'm going to say it in every interview. Got to, got to, I'm because. Everything I do. For you know real. What I'm saying? So, most definitely, Long live Dolo. Mm. What? Shout out my villains again. 
I'm sorry. Right. No, <laughs> shoot. They got to say niggas. like, hey, we can remember, remember this interview where we were like, yeah, we are now. Yeah. We yeah. are now. It's, it's, it's definitely coming. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I have, like I said, man, my team is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Everybody talented. Yeah. Everybody can do something. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we, everybody going to eat. So what is your biggest fear and what is your biggest aspiration? This might sound funny, but my biggest fear is for my mom to hear any of my music. Really? Yeah. Because I'm, I'm scared of my mom, you feel me? And, like, she real gangster, you know what I'm saying? She nothing to play with, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like <laughs> if she hear my shit, like, I know she's going to go crazy. She might be, you know what I'm saying? I know she's going to be happy because she's like, damn, she talented. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? I always try to keep that other side away from my mom. Yeah. Do you feel like she's gonna be hard on you, or do you feel like? Oh no, she can't be hard on me. You know what yeah, I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? It's just, yeah, I just I have respect for my mom. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. it's just a lot of stuff that I just I just don't want her to see, right? Or want her to hear, really, right? Mm-hmm. Shoot, my mama. I had. I'm I'm only 23 now. I had to tell my mom the other day. She gonna see this. I was like, Mom, I'm a, I'm an adult now. Yeah. You can't talk to me like that, period, mom. Period. Period. For real. Yeah. You got to take I it. I can't say that to my mama, though. I, I can't see. even do it. I can't. I'm like, maybe I can't hang up real fast and act like my phone. <laughs> but I can't. All that right there, that's going to. She's going to pull up. What was that shit you were saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah, she bet all that. I love you, mom. And get real active with her. <laughs> you said, I get active, baby. Yeah. Well, shoot, y'all. Well, we're going to take a quick little break, and we'll be right back. Ever thought about starting a podcast? Use Buzzsprout. You'll get a great-looking podcast website, audio players that you can drop into other websites, detailed analytics to show how people are listening, and tools to promote your episode. So use the following link in the show notes and let Buzzsprout know we sent you. And you also get a $20 Amazon gift card if you sign up for a paid plan. And that also helps our show. Thank you so much to our listeners. We love you. All right, y'all. So we are back at it again. Okay. So where do you see yourself in five years? Rich as fuck. Somewhere with my feet up. Yeah. About like 10 businesses. Mm -hmm. Behind the scenes with it. Mm -hmm. Kids. Married. Mm -hmm. That's about about it. What's the the businesses? I told you the daycare, the dispensaries. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whatever my girl decides she want to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> of course, my music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The other stuff I can't really tell you. you know yeah. It's, like, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's you know building up. It's under construction. Hey, what? Um, one of my artists out here said, you got to leave something for the people to, you know, look forward to. You can't, you know what I mean? Oh, what you mean? What, they, what, they want a little freestyle or something? You want to do a freestyle? Nah, nah, nah. Oh, <laughs> I was I like, oh, no. I didn't know what they was talking about. That's why I was like, I, mean, you know I don't even want people putting people on a spot like that. Oh, I, mean, nah, like, I mean, shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm an artist, so I'm expected for shit like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I just didn't understand what you meant by that or what uh, they meant by that. Yeah. I mean, you want to you want to? Nah, we ain't going okay. to Here you go. Here you Maybe go. next time when we get, you know, part two. <laughs> <laughs> right, part two or For real. Okay, so where do you see yourself in 10 years? Dang, you just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just got five out the way. Um, T- ten. 10. You probably going to be retired. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully I've been 10 years strong in the game. Right. That's the plan. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's the motive. Like I said, I just want to be successful. A lot of people calling me on my life, but um, I just want to be successful. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No matter what it is, even if. The music shit, and I can't even talk like that. You know what I'm saying? It is going to work out. You know yes, it will. Yeah. Speaking into existence, manifest it. Already. So, do you have any goals for 2020? Yes, um, definitely staying consistent. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? No days off. Every day, perfecting my craft. Every day. Invest every dollar I spend. Mm-hmm. Studio time, videos, anything, you know what I'm saying, to get me to a better position, mm. you know what I'm saying? More networking. I'm not going out. I'm not going shopping. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm staying down, you know what I'm saying? I'm just taking care of the, the priorities and the necessities. But other than that, strictly about the music. Right. 
Discipline yourself. Yes, definitely. Oh, that's hard. I'm Especially definitely. spending, but it's like yeah, definitely you spending. You know what I'm saying? But oh, it's, it's definitely going to happen, though. Right. It's definitely going to happen. And it's like it's so crazy because it's like I like to spend money. Yes, I definitely. I, I love. I love spending money. I love making money and I love spending money. Yeah. Shoot. Well, it'll all pay off. That's. A, I swear to God, it'll all pay off. It. Time, patience is key. But that shit is a motherfucker. Yeah. Goddamn. Goddamn. Well, do you have any upcoming projects that you're working on? Yeah, I'm working on um, my tape right now. Mm-hmm. It was supposed to be done on um, on Denzel's birthday, but I can't I can't rush it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's called Woody, mm-hmm. but it's spelled W U T I, and that stands for Walking Under the Influence. Oh wow. Yeah. So, is that in like another language? Nah, actually, it was this uh, sermon I got in like. 2015 from church Mm -hmm. um it's in my notes actually but um it just stuck to me at church you know what i'm saying the scripture and everything i can't even remember off the top it's in my notes but like i said i just knew i was gonna use it one day and i just feel like that'll be the perfect Perfect. thing yeah to name my album because that's exactly like each song you know what i'm saying Mm. how would you kind of describe this new project it's it's definitely like from the heart you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. it's real deep you know what i'm saying and it's Basically telling, like, explaining who I am as an artist, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, my story, where I came from, you know what I'm saying? Where I'm trying to go, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, basically what made me who I am today, you know, what made me Woody, you know what I'm saying? What right. Woody represents, you know what I'm saying? And really, I just really want to impact, like, you know, the drug abuse on the kids, you know what I'm saying? Like, because right. that's really how we losing our people. And, you know, people don't listen unless they hear it in the song. Right. So maybe if they hear it from the right one, you know what I'm saying, they Listen, yeah. yeah, 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 for real, for real, shoot. So, what are you, do you have your kind of like song list already played oh, yeah. out? And oh, what's yeah. some what's some songs that people should kind of look out for? Um, the intro is hard. You feel me? The uh-huh. intro is hard from beginning to end. Yeah, I'm talking about like bar for bar. Mm-hmm. Um, stronger. You know the song that we did yeah. earlier. Stronger mm-hmm. is definitely a hit. Um, missing my brother. You know what I'm saying? That's what me. And my nigga Curtis, you know what I'm saying? We made a song about Denzel. Yeah. Damn, every song, I got a song called uh, I Like with my nigga Lil A. Yeah. She a, um, She's a def- she's an upcoming artist, too. She's from Charlotte? Yeah, she's from Charlotte. Mm-hmm. I swear, like, she she hot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She almost got me beat, but she ain't got me beat yet. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but she coming out to cut with it, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That's going to be a fire song. Um, damn. Damn. Really, the whole tape from yeah. beginning to end. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna have to skip it, right? Yeah, each song gonna be fire. Yeah, well, y'all make sure what yeah. Woody. Yeah, Woody. Woody. You gonna remember it you for real? It. For real. Let me know when that pop out so I can get with the marketing and stuff. Yeah, um, I think I'm gonna probably drop it in like September. Oh yeah. I think they give me enough time to really like master it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Come up with some dope visuals. You know, get the right promotion because I'm trying to. I wanted to go up. Mm-hmm. Do you want to be like you're the creative director and basically the producer of your videos? Yeah, yeah, because I really want to play it out. I want people to see it like how, like you know, what I'm saying how I went through it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I really want you to feel it, and I'm kind of weird. You know what I'm saying? I have a like a real creative mind. Right. Should I say I want to really call it weird? But you know what I'm saying? I really you, could. Do you some need, things. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I really could do some things. Right. So is, is you kind of like a storyline type? Kind of. You kind of want it. Okay. Kind of like it's kind of like a storyline, but at the same time, it's you know what I'm saying it's just a little mix of everything. You know, what right? I'm saying? I try to bring like those J Cole flows to like the urban style they got going on, like the trap hip hop. Mm-hmm. That's why I try to mix that together. You know what I'm saying? Because people don't really listen to Cole. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I think it's like because his beats. You know what I'm saying? So if yeah. I put what he's saying on some trap beats, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they're going to feel it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Let me, let's ask about Charlotte since you grew up in Charlotte. Mm-hmm. What is your favorite restaurant in Charlotte? Damn. <laughs> I like to eat too. Right now, I'm going to say my favorite is Lulu's. I've never been there. I've, I've heard about it. That's like my favorite right now. I would think Longhorn, one of my favorites too. That's not just Charlotte though. Mm-hmm. Um, Damn. See, I began, oh, damn, rule of food. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. my dog. You know what I'm saying? And she be she be blanking for me. So I love her food. My mama food. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> restaurant wise, I mean, everybody be falling off, but for right now, Lulu's is definitely taking over. Okay, I definitely love Lulu's. So, if anybody who, if they need something, yeah, they need, they need something, some whatever food. you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? If you're looking for vegan food, I got a homie that sells vegan place right now. Everything is really? great. My man, Ju Man. Yeah. Yeah, he got that vegan food for you. You know what I'm saying? You know, everybody trying to go vegan now. Right. So you definitely get with the wave and shout with him because that's definitely some fire. Do you think you can go vegan? That's what I'm trying to do. That's that's, that's one of my plans for 2020. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get Destiny to stick with it. You know, she'll be eating chicken wings and shit right now. So we can't. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get chicken it. Wings. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Lord, if. The day I become vegan. You can do it. We got to do it one day. I feel like we all need to do it. We yeah. have to do it. You know what I'm saying? It's mandatory, I feel like. I just need a little, a little bit of bacon bits here. Nah, they got mushroom bacon, I heard. You ever heard of that? Mushroom bacon? Yeah, some vegan shit. <laughs> I, I got to try that. <laughs> I feel like it might be hitting for something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With the mushroom. I, I can't knock it till I try it. For yeah, real. You can't knock it till you try it. And that's with everything. You can't knock it till you try it. Because health is wealth, for real. Definitely. It what, really is. Definitely. Do you feel like you are, you're you a healthy person? Nah, but I'm trying. I got the mindset kind of going right now. Yeah. But I ain't really got there yet with the actions. But it's going to happen. Yeah. I feel like this gave me probably like another eight months. Mm. And I know I can do it. Manifest it. I'm manifesting this. You know? That's going to be the I just keyword. need the support, you feel me? Because yeah. everybody I'm around be like, oh, you tripping. Like, you already skinny as fuck. You ain't. But, <laughs> yeah, they don't be Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, that's funny? Yeah, that's funny. It be your own people. It be your own people. It be your own people. That is funny. Well, what are your social media tags? Where can people find you? Um, On Instagram, Woody. Four mm-hmm. underscores, though. Four okay. underscores, Woody. That's W-O-O-T-Y. Um, I don't really be on Twitter like that. Mm-hmm. But it's the same thing on Twitter. Yeah. Facebook is Simone G. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't ask you this. I, I don't know why I always ask this at the end. Where did you get your name from? Woody? Yeah. My mom gave it to me as a baby. Um oh. it's Miss Woody Woo. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Miss Woody Woo. Yeah, Miss Wu Tang. It was initially Miss Wu Tang, but you know what I'm saying? She just kept saying Woody Woo for short. So I just stuck with it. Yeah. Oh shout out to mom. Right. She's your big one of your big supporters too as well. Yeah. Oh well. Well, yeah, but she will be when, yeah, when yeah, she, yeah, yeah, when she when she when she get on the wave, you know what I'm saying, right? But she always, you know what I'm saying, supported my writing. She's a very, yeah, she's a big fan of my writing because mm-hmm. every year Mother's Day, birthday, ever since a kid, I write her a yeah. poem. You know what I'm saying, a special card. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. So she know I'm really talented with that. Mm-hmm. But, you know, yeah, she gonna get hit with the music. Yeah, yeah she gonna see this and be like, uh, uh-uh. uh. Cause I'm gonna make some songs with her, you know, for her. I'm gonna make her an album, just, right? Yeah, just for her. That's the only album she allowed to listen to. For real. Yeah, she Dear can't mama. listen to the other stuff. For real. Mm-hmm. Well, goddamn, we all follow Woody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all do that. Look out for Woody's Tate EP coming out. With, we gonna we gonna say September. Yeah, we gonna say September fifteenth. September look 15th, at, that's going to give me, you know what I'm saying, that's going to put the pressure on me. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any upcoming performances or anything that yeah, you Yeah, um, every Thursday, I'll be at um, Lynn Dogs Catering um, right there at my road. Well, W.T. Harris. Uh-huh. Um, right beside King of Spicy. It's yeah. Like cut. You know, every Thursday, I'm there. 8 yeah. o'clock. It's free. You know what I'm saying? They got the best wings in Charlotte. Them honey Ooh. hot wings of food. Ooh. Yeah, remember I put wings. you on. So, remember we were talking about food, right? Yeah. The best wings. Oh, I, I need to go there. there right now. The honey hot, though. You got to get the honey hot. Honey hot. Yeah. Okay. It's definitely happening. Okay. I, yeah. So I'm going to have to try I'm there, it. I'm there every Thursday. I do cliche a lot. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm really about to be everywhere with it. Yeah. yeah. I'm really about to be everywhere with it. Network. Yeah. What you say? Out of the state. Yeah, definitely out, out of the state. state. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm everywhere with it, for real, for real. Global. We're going global. Yeah, for real. Um, have y'all been traveling to any places out of state, or where's a state that you would kind of want to go to if you could leave right now and go to a state? Where would it be? Damn, why you gotta ask me this? If I could go anywhere right now, uh-huh. I don't know. Um, where would I go right now? I don't know. I gotta think about this. Yeah. 
don't it's know. just so broad. Yeah, you feel me? I'm like, I'll be, I'm scared of weather. You feel me? Like, yeah, the weather bad. I ain't feeling. Y'all have tornadoes, hurricanes. If I don't heard about it, I ain't earthquakes. Yeah, yeah. So I'm still thinking about that. Where I want to, you know, what I'm saying, move to. Yeah, I, I've been thinking about that for a minute. I just, I just can't put my finger on it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to live somewhere. Like I would want a place in Charlotte. But, but yeah, I don't want to travel. You know what I'm yeah, like, I don't want to be too far, but I don't want to be too close. Right. I like to be in like some motherfucking Mint Hill, Matthews. Nah, see, nah. Or maybe I want. I still want to be in Charlotte though. Yeah, but eventually we're gonna have to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We have to get over that for real. And try to get out. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely want. I'm not saying I want to be like confined in the city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just my main home got to be here. Right. Yeah. For real. Well, goddamn, y'all, we want to get, wrap up the the interview. It was dope. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you came on. I you know, y'all, you for real, follow Woody. Yeah, listen to her music. Me, definitely get hip. For real. You know, Support a female hip. rapper. Yeah, like, please, you know what I'm I don't know why everybody be acting scared. Like, I don't know what it is. Just like yo, you know what it is. These yeah. males don't want to be out wrapped by a female and them, them balls look, too. Small. I don't look at it like that. At the end of the day, if you a good artist, you a good artist. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like I shouldn't put fear in your heart. If you know you good, you good. That's just what it is. Exactly. And that's how I look at everybody. Like I have my favorite artists in the city. You know what I'm saying? But you know, people weird. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I don't never look at them like, oh yeah, just because he's my favorite, like he probably can out rap me. I'm still gonna think I'm better than anybody. That I talk to my friend, no matter who you are, right? I'm, in my mind, I'm better than everybody. Can't nobody out rap me, you know right. what I'm saying? But that don't mean we can't work. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean I'm gonna be intimidated to work. To, you know what I'm saying? Just because you got more projects than me, or you've been rapping for me all these years, I don't care. Like you know right. what I'm saying? The proof is in the pudding. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So if you can rap, you can rap. Right. You know Your talent gonna show. Period. So it shouldn't matter, male, female, gay, straight. It shouldn't matter. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If you can rap, nigga, you can rap. You know what I'm just, let's, just, let's just get rapping. You know exactly. Niggas want to do extra shit. Let's rap. For real. You know what I'm saying? But Not all that extra shit. Yeah, let's just rap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. For real. So. Well, y'all, let's be real. Fuck. <laughs> let's be real. Let's be real. Well, y'all, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Follow us on Instagram at Let's Be Real, the podcast, L-E-T-Z-B-E-R-E-A-L, the podcast. We're also on Facebook, you know, but follow us on Instagram, YouTube as well. We have our channel, KDR Visuality Productions. And yeah, tune in to this wonderful interview. We'll be out soon. And thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.